Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. Well, for all of our people there in the Tanawan area, the Patangas area, we'll be having a great crusade at the Tanawan Gymnasium 1 beginning at 6.30 sharp on Tuesday night. We'll look forward to seeing you there. But right now, I want to talk to you about when we correct people. Now, I don't know a pastor who enjoys correcting people. I, I'm sure maybe there are some out there, but I've never met one. Correction is not something that you enjoy. And if I took you through all of Paul's teachings, you'll see that Paul did not enjoy it either. But listen to him beginning in Galatians chapter 4, verse 16, English Standard Version. Have I then become your enemy by telling you the truth? Have I then become your enemy by telling the truth? Now, the problem in seasons of correction is people's attitudes begin to get a little interesting. And he said, listen, you're, you're looking at me like an enemy. Now, the reason they began to look at him as the bad guy is because of what the false teachers were doing. He said, now, they make much of you, but for no good purpose. They want to shut you out that you may make much of them. It is always good to be made much of for a good purpose, and not only when I'm present with you. My little children, for whom I am again in anguish of childbirth until Christ is formed within you. I wish I could be present with you now and change my tone, for I am perplexed about you. So Paul's heart is, he's not angry, he's just, I don't get it. Now what's going on is what I call religious politics. Let me read it to you from the New Living Translation. It gets just a little bit clearer. He says in verse 16, Have I now become an enemy because I'm telling you the truth? Those false teachers are so eager to win your favor, but their intentions are not good. They're trying to shut you off from me so that you will pay attention to them. If someone is eager to do good things for you, that's all right. But let them do it all the time, not just when I'm with you. Paul said, every time I'm around, all of a sudden these false teachers just glob onto you and just make you feel so important and they start doing all kinds of things for you. But he said, they're not doing this because they care about you. They're doing this because they're trying to cut you off from me. I've had to correct you. I've had to say strong things to you because I love you. And in this season of correction, they're stepping in trying to pull you away from me. Now, brothers and sisters, please forgive me, but, but straight talk. You always can find false teachers around that are trying to draw people after themselves. And whenever they see a person being corrected by a pastor, they immediately step in and kawawa naman and oh I wish I was the one taking care of you and they're trying to pull you away from a person who really cares about you. Paul said I'm not your enemy and Paul said they're not your friends.